ground. <laughs> Good morning, darling. Well, it's only just morning. It's really yeah. <laughs> eight minutes before midday, and we have hit the prosperity pot on the Fudai Luang Dragon, whatever it is. <laughs> For the first time this trip and we love this game but um anyway let's see what happens five free games oh. well that was diabolical we, don't we have to show the rough with the smooth yeah never mind let's keep going Pretty. So we're just going to have a mooch, grab some food, and I think we might uh, head over to Red Rock well, at some point. Might we? Yeah. Very pleasant. It's lovely, isn't it? Someone appears to have a new purchase. <laughs> well, that's Christmas present sorted. Yeehaw! <laughs>
575. Oh! What happens when it's 10 cents? I always get confused with the domino. What's it? Oh! Oh, her misses. Oh. This is a big one. habit even on our last night but where are you going? I'm going to go and say bye to Jenny. Oh good. Who knows what's going to happen next? Well nothing clearly like all trip. <laughs> We're in the High Limits room. New York, New York. Favourite place last night. Just been on video poker. Nothing happened. Well, a well, little something happened for you, but it was a little something. Well, you've got a new favourite game. Well, a new game. A new game. So, for anyone out there that hasn't played Kino before, I have to say I was um, <laughs> I was rather negative about the whole situation, but then I spanked quite a good winning. I got a couple of hundred dollars in. Uh, where were we? Do you want another drink, Sweetheart? I'm all right at the minute, thank you. Um, where were we? Summerlin, uh, Red Rock. And you decided just to sit at the bar top and play a little bit of keynote. We can't play 
multiple tables of video poker and when you can't play multiple tables it's a bit boring. It's quite so boring. You decided to play Kino instead. Yeah, and I And you wanna... picked 10 numbers and seven of them came out in one go for a 568 hundred... points, which was About 120, 150, 120, 120, 120, whatever it was, but it, yeah, it was nice. Look at his face. <laughs> anyway, we are in High Limits. Favourite machine. Time for a bit of puff and more puff at 7.50 a press. Because it is the last night. It is. And uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a cane in the last three days. So this evening you will have seen the video on Jeans Dow, which was quite nice that for a couple of hundred. Three hundred. Well, then now we shouldn't have walked away from that. And we had a nice win in the wind the other day, but apart from win that, in the oh, wind. Man, I don't well, know what's we knew, happened. We knew we were going to get spanked. Where's our look gone? We left it here in May. Well, let's get it back. 200, ride or die. We'll be back. Off. See you soon. See you shortly. We have our drinks. I just thought we'd play a random hundred bucks into the grade A listed video poker building, which is the high limit room at New York, New York. And I've been dealt a straight flush with a times two and a times seven. So I'm not actually sure how much this is going to pay, but it might be quite good. Um, I have held them. <laughs> That would have been a bit stupid. I have helped them, so it's on three hands, so let's see what happens. That's not maybe as much as I thought it was going to be since I've happened a second time, but it has got us a nice small bet up to 100 bucks. Now we've got three 12 times to play. Three twelve 12 times, so first hand, please. Some sort of roll flush would be handy. So we've got two tens, so we now want a series of tens to appear because it's 12 times multiplier. Here we go. And the top one is just 60. But it is 137, and I thought this was a dead hundred, so. Well done, dear. Yeah, she looks suitably not impressed at all. <laughs> Don't know what you've been banging on about, dear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Oh well. On to the next. Still trying to match her. It'll never happen. <sighs> so you finally found a machine that's not broken. Oh, and you've got a smile on your face. Why is that so brown? Oh, deuces. I only had 40 bucks in there. Oh, yeah. We're the winner to get dinner. Speed. So you having a nice time there? Yeah, yes, it's, last, it's last night bonuses. So a midnight bonus. Give it 20 minutes, I'm going to take the place down. <laughs> seven minutes past midnight. 20 minutes to the witching hour, yeah? <laughs> I'll leave you to... Uh, I'm just warming up for the 4,000. I'll leave you to your cauldron. Hubble bubble boiling trouble. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm videoing you. Well, I'm just about to go for a tiddle. <laughs> How you doing, Sarah Brown? Well, I'm doing all right, actually. You've had a few nice wins at video poker, yeah? Yeah. 200 bucks up. And it's 121 in the AM. It is. And we're going home tomorrow. But the moment we're back. In nine weeks. And we've got late checkout till three o'clock. We have, that's probably a good job. It is a good job because you'll probably be asleep till then. I will. Well, we haven't actually managed to surface out of the room till 11 most of these days. Did you do well then? 
Well, doing well on what? Well, you've been doing quite well today. You've had a nice win on I've done well on the, on the gambling today, it has to be said. I still Kino. have my budget in my purse. And you've got some money in your winnings wallet. How do you know about my winnings area? <laughs> it's an area. In well, like area, like area 51 where no freaking things go. Yeah, too well, right. Show us your winnings wallet. Well, it's not a wallet, it's an area in my purse. You've seen the area in my purse and you caught me last year counting it. Purse, zippage area. <laughs> oh! What do you mean, oh? There's 300 in there. <laughs> I forgot about those ones. <laughs> well, that's about it for the trip and they are not coming out just saying so you got 300 bucks put away then but you didn't even know you had i forgot i thought i had a hundred in there winner winner chicken dinner i promise never again however I'm playing video poker over there. I'm doing very well. And next thing I get a text going, moo. <laughs> and I turn around to see Michael going, because he'd got however many free plays. I had 50 free spins. Yeah, 50. And there you go. That was the output of his 50 free spins. Never say never. He's got video. Anyone got a DGEN problem with gambling? Call cool. Sarah Brown. Good morning. It's our final day. I think you'll find it's quarter to two in the afternoon. Oh, it is. <laughs> Good afternoon. Not like me to make a fluff. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we're just mooching around Park MGM, killing some time before we have to check out and do all that grim stuff. And I hit the flags on Golden Century. Give it a whirl. Come on, we want balls. Oh, balls. How exciting! That's a good start. Let's hope my dream's gonna come true. It did. 16 years ago. Oh my god, give me a bucket. <laughs> oh, funny boy. Come on. And one more, please, please, please. Well, that's a good start. It's a very good start. Spin one. It's very loud. <clears throat> That's not bad, is it? Spin one of six, and we got fifty five bucks. Oh, get more balls. Oh. <laughs> Jubbly. Back up spin. Course. No. Right. 
let's cash out and uh, start again. Start again. Latest. We are on giant drummage. <laughs> and it's humongous. But we got the pot clothes, which seems to be our favourite thing this trip. Right. Let's hit it. What are you going to pick, dear? Well, it's got gold. Everything. Everything's been upgraded and we don't really understand why. Maybe it's just upgraded and or maybe you get another pick or something. I think that's maybe is this one. Anyway, let's see if we can just uh, sort out the gold brand and then we'll go from there, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. One. Okay. Two miners. Oh, three miners. Didn't even find a mini. <laughs> Well done! I wonder if there's another bonus pick. What's the gold miner bit mean? It's been upgraded. It added some extra value to it. Oh, oh yeah, it's gone back down to 25. 63 bucks, not bad at all. 123! Lovely, jubbly backup spin. 6 bucks. Nice. Time to move? Yes. Right. Let's uh, go take down another one. <laughs> we moved from there, because it had no noise, to this one. We put our 130 bucks in, and we're down to 106. 288 a spin, and we got, Michael got the drum. Bonus. Right, what do we normally do, 10? 10 or mystery. Up to you. Ten it is. Oh, it's rather enormous. Oh, good lord. I might have to stand up. Little bit of doggy action. <laughs> why are you shaking your head at me? No, why? <laughs> Oh, come along. Oh, come on, eat three eggs, Ben. You need something better than this. Dogs across, that's a little bit better than this. Oh, yeah. Last bit. Well, $7 bonus. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> 194 bucks. Back up spin. Lovely jubbly. Right. Groovy. So, we moved from that machine to this machine. We've had a few nice line hits and we've got above 200. And then. Uh, Clever clogs hit the jackpot bonus again, and uh, we've had the <laughs> jackpot upgrade. So the grand is 23,000, 2,000 for the major, and not too miserly for the blue and the likely green mini, which will win at 28 dollars and uh, 16 cents. So there we go. Well, you know that, that I always get the green one. Yeah, I know. Blue. One of each. Minor. You know you'll find them. Oh, you did it! I broke my habit of getting the green one. Another minor jackpot. Wow, this is turning into quite an hour. So, that's uh, the minor hit twice and a nice few blind hits. And now, we're sitting at like 294 bucks from 20 each we put in. Well done. We're winning on our last day. We are. <laughs> Excellent. Can't actually believe this. <laughs> Three spins later. And you've got a lot of baggage. You've got a lot of baggage. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to... Bonus. It's the gold drum. Whatever that means. So, ten again? Yeah. Let's give it a Oh, it's big. Oh, 
just one or two big hits on this can be, can be quite fruitful, I would suggest. Come on, from it. Five spins left. Not yet. Not really. <laughs> oh. Nice. Right, last one. Come on. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. But I can't grumble at the total. Because the total is now. Towards 360 bucks from 20 years. Very nice too. Back up spin. Ready? Back up spin seems to be failing. It does. But oh, we can never, never not do it. Excellent. That one. Oh. We've come to Bellagio for our last hour. We hit the moolah bonus with $17.50 left after putting in 18. <laughs> Welcome to Planet Moolah. 21 free plays. <laughs> it is mental this game. Isn't it? it is mental. Earthly. It can be very frustrating. Earthlings, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Why 
you angry, Sarah Brown? Well, the last half an hour I've seen two poor pieces of service. service. Oh, yeah, what was the first one? The Nomad. Check out. They won't be having us visiting their doors again. <laughs> Basically called us a liar on checkout when we had a late night, late checkout agreed for 3 p.m. at $20 by a nice man yesterday. Well, the man today said 1 p.m. is $20, 3 p.m. is $50. And we went, yes, but then because he saw we were gold, he said, oh, I'll give it to you for $20. Apparently there was no notes on file, so $50 it is. And then the key didn't work, so we went up and down in the elevator three times before said man on the desk said, oh, there can't be every key in this place that doesn't work, come with me. So he used a special key and got to see. And then we came to Tom's Urban, yeah? And yeah. you wanted to sit over there, just outside on the nice little veranda area where there's lots of empty seating, yeah? Yep. And, and what can't, happened? Can't sit there. <laughs> food, food service only. Am I eating? No. Can't sit here. Why not? It's not busy. Because it's for food service only. Were you seated by a server? No. You put you your ass down, didn't you? You have to sit at the bar then. So? I nearly said let's go, but the beers arrived, so I couldn't move well. So sit at the bar you will. Nine. Trip number the team. As soon as we'd always lose count. Yeah. Third trip of the year. And it's been epically epic. Just a bit different yeah. to the last trip. Yeah. Fabulous. But it has been fabulous. So you got a hand the first. Is that the first part? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When we were staying at Aria, yeah, yeah. yeah. hand paint. Then we went over to uh, Santa Rita to see Captain Lisa and go to the Breeders' Cup, which was awesome. Bucket list. See? And then we headed back. Whenever I talk about Santa Anita, I have tears in my eyes, don't I? It keeps wobbling. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. It's awesome. Just jaw-droppingly beautiful. It was beautiful. Then we went to Joshua Tree, had a nice chilled out evening in hot tub and hammock. Well, I went to hammock. Out the hot tub no, two hours. I didn't, it was lovely. Then we headed to um, back here to Nomad. Back here. Back here to Nomad for a few nights, which was very nice. Um, I think the one thing that I would say is we sort of, well, we had to come at this time of the year due to holidays, plus obviously the horse racing at Santa Anita. I think we came, if we, if we, could, have, if we could have done it differently, I would have come two weeks earlier because the pools were open and the weather was three or four degrees hotter. So it was 24 instead of 21. 21 with a bit of wind chill was like yeah, a bit. It was, it was nippy at night, wasn't it? And the sun at this time of the year doesn't get very high above the buildings either. So you're in the shade a lot. So the pool wasn't really an option for the last two or three days. So, no. um, but. But I'm the nomad the pool was sharp. Yeah. And, so um, so, and it was, and it was, it was, it was fine. So we, we, we enjoyed our day just mooching up and down the strip. We enjoyed our evening at South Point. Um, thanks to Darren for his suggestion of going over to Summerlin. We really enjoyed it there. And we had a, a, a you had a bit of good luck at Red Rock. I did. And you, deserve, you discovered a new game. I never thought I'd like Kino, but I won quite a bit, so I was quite happy. Doesn't really matter, does it? Roulette. Doesn't matter if you slots, win. Slots. Nothing. Kino, video poker, horse racing. You don't care. You just gamble and drink. I don't think you are too. Uh... We have had we have had an epic two weeks, and um... and I just got a little count up. I've come home with half my budget. Which is. And that has actually only been one in the last 24 hours. You have, you've had a good last 24 hours. So um, we've, we've brought home money. It'll go back in the winnings wallet or wherever you're going to stash it. Yeah, for me to and, know uh, to never find out. 
and you've got a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> um, and uh, some... And you had an empty wallet. <laughs> no, no, well, not quite. And uh, just a few shout outs before we go. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, um, big shout out to Hector and Melissa. Yeah, we had an awesome time. We had an awesome time in LA and I knew you guys enjoyed it too. And um, it is, it's a big learning for us that you can walk into a one horse town one Saturday evening in Lone Pine, overhear some conversations, buy each other drinks, and then become really good friends. Like and friends it's yeah. weird. It's the weirdest way that that happened. But uh, we will see you again uh, for Hector's birthday when we are back in Vegas. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just to everybody that we met along the way, um, people that said hello. We've had an awesome time. And uh, Deb and Andy says hello. Mm -hmm. And then we met Rachel, Nat, and Casey. Kev. Okay. Casey. Jasper. <laughs> it's been. Is that everybody? Uh, everybody that we met, Danny, everybody that we met, we had a fantastic time. Um, and uh, yeah, so next Saturday we have the meetup in Birmingham. Okay. I doubt, I doubt this will go out before next Saturday, but we'll see those people that Not come to Birmingham in the UK next week, uh, which we're looking forward to very much. And then nine weeks tomorrow, on, on the 13th of January, we've got a sneaky little six night trip. Um, which started out as a New Year trip, which has now become pretty much an annual event coming out here for a few days in, uh, in early mid-January. So we're back out here on the 13th of January. We're staying at Vidara for the first time, which we're looking forward to, so that'll be nice. And uh, Hector and Melissa are coming to meet us, and it is Hector's birthday while we're here. So there's going to be um, there's going to be some fun and games, and uh, yeah, it'll be bring a hoodie because it'll be cold, but... Um, We'll be back. That's fine. And your head isn't on the on the, the, the slab here in the bar, which it was in May. So um, all things all things are good. So um, until then, we'll uh, we'll see you then. Bye.